Hi guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Welcome to Vlogtober. Now, I'm not going to do a, upload a video every day. The reason why is because where I live, the internet is really bad and I really struggled when I did Vlogist. And some days I uploaded two videos, other days none. Uh, so what I've decided to do is to vlog every day, but sort of put it together and do it once or twice a week, a few days at a time, if that's all right with you guys. Sorry to disappoint you. I know one of my subscribers wanted to see a vlog every day, but I just can't do it. You know, it stresses me out so bad because it's the internet just won't do it and there's nothing I can do to, can do about it. We don't have fiber internet here. So anyway, but so today is Monday. And I didn't vlog over the weekend, but I did upload a speed cleaning one. So you guys, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it below or put something on the corner up there. Um, anyway, so we uh, pull this off all of this week. So we've just been shopping and we've been to Aldi. I won't film the, the food stuff because just because you guys have seen a lot of shopping um stuff i maybe i'll show you a couple of things how's that i bought this it's newbie it's a little um toy for the bath and it's like a, a net and you catch all the different fishes and stuff and i bought this and this will be a present for someone for either christmas or a birthday present i i like keeping a box um in a spare bedroom just full with random little presents that i find that then I can give out. Let me see. Got those. How cute are those? Cute little napkins. I've got two packs. Let me see. Where's the other? Hmm. Oh. Where is the other pack? Oh, there. Sorry. I thought these were really cute. They were only like 59p per pack, which is quite good. So, bought a couple of things, and the rest is just your usual food. I'll give you a quick look around. And, I mean, I've put the freezer stuff away. Now, what I do intend to do over the month of October is um, tidy up, like reorganize all our wardrobes upstairs, because they're a proper mess. How about I show you guys, but I'll show you what I intend to do. One of the things I intend to do is, you guys see this little table here? Now, Alex never uses that, so we're going to take that up to his bedroom and we're going to put his uh, farm set on top of it. Uh, so that will clear out a load of space. I also would like to update our photo wall. I don't think you guys have seen that before. Um, but all the, f the, the photos we have are Alex as a little baby. Here he is. Um, so it could do with being updated. Now I'm just going upstairs. I want to show you the mess that is in our cupboards, right? So this is the wardrobe in the spare room. Check it out. So I want to get rid of all these boxes. These contain like um, old um, invoices and things like that. So they need to be shredded and get rid of our suitcases, <coughs> which we rarely use. Um, I might put them under the bed, if I can put them right up against the headboard, you know, underneath, so you can't see them. Or we might put them in the loft. I need to go through all these jackets, get rid of stuff I don't use. That's our Christmas tree in there. So, just a big sort out and look at this. This is just pictures and stuff. So... I need to sort through those and get them all. I'll keep them, you know, because I like changing the way my house looks. 
um, but I just need to reorganize them. I also will show you our wardrobe. Excuse the mess. So as you can see, this is where I store my extra pillows, like cushions and covers and blankets, things like that. So I'm hoping to move those into the spare bedroom wardrobe uh, once I clear those boxes out and then I can use this for something else. And at the bottom is a mess. Uh, this is a bag with clothes that I want to donate. So I need to get rid of that. And there's like baskets and more blankets. Everything just needs to be reorganized. Now that wardrobe is fine. It's just my um, husband's working wardrobe. So it just has his... Um, his uniform okay so you guys see the tent here Alex never really plays with it so I might be selling that but if not I'm gonna take it out and sort of put it away it folds up flat in them so it's no big deal and then the little table that I showed you downstairs is going to come here and then what I'll do is put the train on top, not the train, sorry, the farm on top of it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then Alex's wardrobe is a tip. It's just got, at the top there, I store, it's got Christmas stuff that I didn't put with my other Christmas stuff. So uh, I need to get that all sorted. And I'll leave it out. Maybe I'll put it in the spare bedroom in one big basket because Christmas is not that far away. It's got our uh, Halloween stuff up there. Don't know if you guys can't see that basket there. That's it. That's all our Halloween stuff. Um, it's also got, I need to go through these coats because I think he's outgrown most of them. Um, we've got the mattress from his um, baby cot there. I think we're going to get rid of that. It's in perfect condition because we always had it covered with a protector. So this is all clothes that he's outgrown and he's outgrown his Gruffalo Crocs and just stuff. Okay, so I need to sort all of that out, reorganize it. I might move, you see this chest of drawers, um, I might move that into the spare bedroom. I also want to move that to that wall so and get rid of that um, and just make as much room because as Alex gets bigger he'll stop playing in his uh, bedroom more and more so I want him to have space and it's looking a bit cluttered so yeah so you guys bear with me um and I'll put something up um shortly well towards the end of the week um like I said Paul is off this week so I'm hoping he's going to help me sort everything out. Um, but I won't do everything this week. We're also going away for the weekend down to Wiltshire to see our family. Um, so I'm not sure how much I can film there. It's not fair on everyone else. But anyway, that's it. So hopefully um, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye. Good morning guys, it's Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here and today is Tuesday and I've decided to tackle Alex's room and Alex's wardrobe and if you guys remember I'm going to put that away and maybe convince my husband to get rid of this so um, I'll show you what it looks like after but let me give you a quick view so this is Alex's bedroom, there you are, this is what it looks like now, and I'll show you the app. Oh my god you guys, why did I think this was a good idea? Why? Why? I'm at that stage where I can't see an end and I just want to pick up the lot and throw it out, but I'm going to try now and reorganise the top of the wardrobe up there and see how I get on. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday and Paul is off this week. So we've just been 
uh, to a local town and did a bit of shopping so I thought I would share with you what I got because I've got some good stuff so from Townland I got these um, they're the battery operated ones because I have an outside um, a hurricane lamp kind of thing and the lights um, when I put a normal tea light keeps going out so I bought those got some round tree pastels because we're traveling tomorrow to have in the car got some Febreze wipes found this which I thought was Batman but it turns out it's Catwoman <laughs> but I think I can tell Alex that's Batman and he'll go for it he's obsessed with Batman at the moment and that is from the pack from Poundland as well but um they have like a whole whole collection of them which is quite good so but this was the only one they had um, I also bought this over the door hanger to put in Alex's bedroom um, just to hang a couple of things um, what else got some balsam Kleenex tissues uh, for a pound obviously again this is all from Poundland at the moment found this Dory carry along colouring set so it's got that and it comes with the crayons at the back I got a lint, a lint roller I also found this which I thought it was quite cute if you guys can see it says enjoy the little things it's like a glass frame I thought that would make a nice little gift for someone uh, what else I got these flowers and um, I'll show you I'll put a picture or film once I open them up but I got three of them and these were the nicer ones the other ones have glitter on them and it just look a bit tacky I also got some freezer bags and I got some batteries and got some more batteries somewhere and let me see I got one of these pop-up laundry um, bags, hampers, uh, so like I said we're going away for the weekend and I thought if I take that along and I'll put all our dirty clothes in there and that's ideal for the car. I also got three of these um, and I'm going to use them for like my potatoes and onions and things like that. And then I went into, I think it's the birthday shop, and I got a little Spider-Man thing for Alex. I think it's got sweets inside. Uh, he's really getting into all of those. And in there I also found this little beauty. It's wooden, and it was 99p. Now, I can either gift this to someone, or I can use it in my um, home. It's ideal for like fall autumn decor thing. I picked up some dinky deckers um, from um, WH Smith. What else? We got a couple of DVDs from a charity shop. We got Wildlife Jack. Alex used to love this and um, we can't find it. We, he used to watch it on TV but you can see 99p. And we also picked up Rio thought that was quite nice and then I bought this for my nephew it's a classic tin toy it's a car he's really into cars um, and that was 6 dollars thought that was quite pricey but I thought that I like the old-fashioned toys so I bought that and here's the other battery set that I got and I also picked up sorry the, the car toy I picked up from Vinegar Hill and this as well. This is a little Christmas tree. There we go. Look how cute they are. And I always do like a table set, table setting in my dining room table, so I'm sure I can use those. And that's it. Good morning everyone it's Thursday and I'm in my spare room and check it out 
It's an absolute mess. I'm still trying to sort out this room. I've pretty much finished Alex's room. Oh, go this way. Uh, so I'll do a tour of that later for you guys to see. I've also got a pack because we're going away for the weekend. Got to wrap some presents for my nephew to take with us. And I'm exhausted. I look exhausted. I feel exhausted. It's just been really full on past few days. But anyway, I just, I'm going to crack on with this. I just want it done. Just want my house back to normal. Um, what else? Upstairs. My bedroom's a tip. I've just taken out all the bed clothes to make the bed fresh. <sighs> I just I'm not feeling it today it's a proper struggle I'm gonna leave this wardrobe I don't know I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna have time I want to try and clean out my car today before I go I'd, anyway it's just too much going on so I'll um, keep you posted so I am getting on with emptying this wardrobe but I just wanted to show you all the different pictures we have that we're not using at the moment. It's ridiculous, right? Look at it all. I kind of don't want to get rid of them because we'll use them in different houses. So I'm going to move them from there to that corner and see how I get on. So this is where we're at. I have reorganized all the boxes got photos, Easter decor, Halloween decor, Paul Uni paperwork, uh, memories, so that's like cards for me to Paul and to Alex, um, that one's just got empty photo frames, dress up, we've got a few, um, you know, like um, dress up parties, I think there's a gypsy costume and a monk and a wig there, uh, that's all our travel, uh, toiletries and things like that, our air beds, and then that's our air bed um, pump thing in there. And at the bottom here, I've now got these uh, for guests. Right at the bottom, I have a storage bin full of storage bins, and I have this basket. I still don't know what to do with this. I was thinking I have a small sort of this height table. I might screw that wooden basket onto it and have it in here so my guests can put their uh, suitcase in there, that kind of thing. But um, it's not something I'm going to do today, but if I do do it, I'll do a little video for you guys. And then on this side, I've just hanged some of our spare blankets um, there and then my guests can use them. And at the bottom are all our pictures, which I've just quickly reorganised. And our one of our suitcases, all the other suitcases are now inside one another and under the bed. So out of the way. And this one is the one we use the most. And it's got some travel bags inside as well. Now, that's our Christmas tree there. Uh, and these are the Christmas decorations that I found in different cupboards upstairs. Now, I am actually going to keep them in here because Christmas is a couple of months away, so there's no point. Um, but when I get all my Christmas decorations put away again for the year, I'll put them all together and I will put the... I think we're going to put the Christmas tree in our loft. Um, that is a spare quilt. It's like a kind of... <coughs> excuse me. Um shabby chic pattern style it used to be what I used to have on on the bed I'm gonna keep it um, I'm gonna find a spot for it maybe under the bed or I might fit it in there but I just wanted to show you guys how this is coming along and now I'm gonna just get rid of all this stuff that's on the bed and tidy up right so the room is back to how it looks normally. Um, I did a video on the spare bedroom. Just give you a quick show. If you want to have a look at it, I'll link it for you guys below. 
and here's the cupboard so like I said to you guys all up there is organized and as you can see I've put the Christmas tree there and the Christmas extra bits that I found in there and everything else is as I showed you some spare boxes I'll probably use that before the day is over but I'm so pleased especially with all of that at the top hi guys so I have finally finished upstairs I have made sorry I'm out of breath I've been running around like a lunatic uh, made our bed fresh dusted vacuum the carpets and I managed to tidy our wardrobe up as well so at the top there we just have spare pillows and uh, sorry cushions and then spare cushion covers those boxes have like winter gloves and um, winter socks the really thick socks that kind of stuff our wardrobe is looking really tidy the bottom here this is our basket to put all the clothes that don't fit us anymore or we don't like to get rid of so once the basket is full I can get rid of it out of the house but it's nice to have a space for it to actually go so you know encourage you to keep get it done and um, also if you guys can see at the bottom I keep some shoes and handbags there's the spare quilt I've folded all our clothes so I can make the most of the bottom of the wardrobe so there you go all tidied I'm so glad I'm so so glad of that okay so now I want to show you Alex's bedroom so here you are if you guys remember this chest of drawers used to be over there now that's his little table and chairs that used to be downstairs and has his farm on it if you guys want to see he is loving that in that corner I've just got his big dinosaurs and all his um, soft toys in there I've brought his Lambretta he doesn't really use this um, but it has really big sentimental value for me and I, I would love to keep that and give it to his son or daughter nothing much has changed in that corner his reading corner stays the same the bed we've, I've just made the bed fresh and because it's got his farm out I got his farm duvet out and that used to be in the bathroom and when I bought it I bought it in mind that one day I might want to use it as Alex um, bedside table it has got I put some trinkets in it but it has actually got doors so I can close um, as he grows up that can be he can use that for whatever he wants and then on top of his chest of drawers I've just put some books that we have um, I bought this you guys must have seen that in my shopping haul and I decided to put it in his bedroom I got this it's Peter Rabbit money boxes by Royal Dalton I got this like maybe 12 years ago and I thought if one day I have a baby which at the time wasn't looking great I can I would love him to have this so here it is I love it I've got his avocado bear we got that in Ireland abacus a little baby photo of him and I'm not going to show you the photo too much but it's his grandparents on that photo and then I've been able to put up a wall let me show you first I had this done um, when he was first born and as a child as a little toddler he used to wear a lot of uh, bows um, what do you call it not ties bow ties um, so and there's Stan and Ethel and it says oh the places you'll go and that little plane he actually has a plane like that um, so that was another military wife who made that this one was a birthday present and it says Alex dream big this was a birth present when he was first born my lovely friend Claire had that made that A obviously for El Chandre 
but also um, it's the map of where he was born. Then my friend Anna made me this when he was born and we bought this many years ago before we had any children. I just loved it um, and Alex loves that. And I also, I had this little frame. It's a photo frame, but I decided to take out the glass, put some um, craft paper, and then I have that little balloon. Those are actually gift tags. I cut the tag bit out and I just glued it. They're from Tiger. I thought that were really cute and the little bird. So let me give you, here's this farm. I'll give you a look at the wall. I think that looks really cute. And Alex is loving it. I also hang back. He had this when he was born. I bought that and the, the knobs on his um, sorry, on his chest of drawers. Uh, so I hang that back. He used to have a dinosaur one there, but also last night, Paul uh, put up all these stars. Can you guys see? It took him ages, you guys. It took him ages to put them all up. And last night when Alex went to bed, he was all excited because we were saying, oh, they, they're going to glow. They don't. Mummy. Hmm. Bought them really cheaply and it's paying the price now. So anyway, let me show you. Finally, his wardrobe is a lot clearer. At the top there, I've just got a couple of boxes. One says Mr. Ben books, um, older toys, uh, presents for Alex. And that's his um, memory box. So it's got loads of like outfits and things like that. And on top, there's some books for when he's a bit older. That is his cot mattress. I've kept that because I intend to make some sort of seating area for him at some point. So because it was in immaculate condition, we had like covers on it. So it never got puked on or anything like that. And then at the bottom, we've just got two boxes. One says presents for children and the other one presents for adults. I was going to write on it adult presents, but I thought, oh, if someone opens that, they'll think we've got some weird stuff in there. But anyway... Sorry, sorry. Um, so that's just where I keep all the random stuff that I buy um, to gift as presents. Just the drawers stayed. In this black box, I've just got craft stuff that I still want to do in his bedroom. And then his nappies and his, he doesn't play with this uh, Noah's Ark anymore, but I want to keep that forever. And then in that corner, I've just got his garage and a few coats that I'm keeping. Look how cute that is. He used to look so cute in that. So I'm not getting rid of those. And at the top there's some paints and Play-Doh and some other stuff at the back. And that is it guys. I am done. So now I need to deal with the downstairs which I'm not looking forward to but Anyway, I'll catch up. I'll try and film a little bit more. I don't know if I will, uh, but hopefully I'll have plenty of stuff for you guys to see for the first week of uh, Vlogtober. Uh, we are going away tomorrow, so after clearing downstairs, I still have to pack everything. So if I don't get a chance to catch up with you guys later, I'll say goodbye now and I'll see you next week. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.